This is Jessica Williamson, and you're watching Zap Root. This past Valentine's Day, the mean streets of San Francisco were transformed into what looked like a sorority house after too many wine callers. Somewhere between 1,500 and 3,000 people took part in a flash mob, but this pillow fight was no box of chocolates for city officials. Mountains of feathers clogged drains, flooded streets, flooded a restaurant, and filled the Valancourt Fountain. The city puts the damage estimate at about $20,000, and it's considering banning flash mobs without a permit, which will possibly cancel next year's event. What can you bury in Illinois? You might not be able to buy a Senate seat in Illinois anymore, and you might not be able to bury those pesky recorded phone calls. But you can bury your carbon dioxide. Recently, the Energy Department broke ground in Illinois for an $84 million carbon sequestration project. In this version of clean coal, they plan to inject a million metric tons of carbon dioxide into the ground by 2012. A project like this has never been done before on this scale and presents all sorts of new fun problems, like seepage, water table contamination, and the IPCC calculates they'll take up to 30% of the power produced by the plant just to get it pushed into the ground. Crappy efficiency? Check. Expensive? Check. Dangerous? Check. Yep, it looks like we've got all of our ducks in a row. This carbon sequestration project will occur 6,500 feet below the surface. The DOE plans to store 100 billion tons of CO2 underneath Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky. Never mind that a Minsky & Company analysis found that the United States could reduce greenhouse gas emissions in 2030 by 50% just by using efficiency standards and regulation. But who cares? Let's just get on the clean coal magic copper ride. Whee! And now for some totally useless crap. Thirsty? How about some water from Philico Beverly Hills, which actually has nothing to do with Beverly Hills. It's from Osaka, Japan, and it costs about a hundred bucks. Check out the solar cell house plant. Instead of oxygen, it produces power for your iPod. Oxygen's so overrated anyway. And what would you possibly do without a fizz cup? It gives you root beer floats on the go. Are you obsessed with hand sanitizer? Then the Zadro Nano UV Disinfected Scanner is for you. Scan anything to kill 99.9% .9 of the germs. And in a few years, when you have a severe immune deficiency, you'll be able to die from the common cold. Awesome. But who knows? If we keep getting a e. cola in our salad, we might all need one of these. And check out the chess car. In the event of a crash, the cabin slides to relieve the impact. That is, until you crash two of them together. Not sure when your dog is done? Try the Barking Dog Hot Dog Cooker. It barks when your dogs are done. It will have you barking the words myocardial infarction in no time. Check out this concept. It's the RSS Stroom Reader. It lets you really show your ex-girlfriend what you think of her Twitter feed. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can wipe yourself with our Twitter feed at zaproot.com.